Hi everybody. So um, when I went shopping today at the thrift stores, I actually got a lot of books and some toys. So I decided to do two separate videos and in this video I'm just going to do the book haul. Um, so almost all of these I got at um, a thrift store and I'll tell you the one that I didn't. But um, the first book is Owl Diaries, Eva's Treetop Festival. And this is a Branches uh, Scholastic kind of young reader. And as you can see, it's pretty easy reading. Um, it's a lot of cartoons, um, not a whole lot of words. But the illustrations are really cute. I love that little bat. It's just adorable. And uh, it's just kind of about uh, the little bird owl named Eva. And it's just a fun little read, it looks like. So I'm excited to give it a try. And then the next book we have is R.L. Stein Nightmare Hour. And this is like 12 different um, like short story horror kind of stories. And they're all by R.L. Stein. And then each one has um, like different illustrations by a famous artist. So it's pretty cool because there's like a whole lot of different kinds of art in here too. And I like short stories, especially creepy short stories. And I like R.L. Stein's Goosebumps and Fear Street and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd give it a try, especially since, you know, it's only it was only like 99 cents. Or actually, I think it was 79 cents. I think all these were Goodwill, which is 79 cents. And then I have Chloe the Kitten, which is part of the Fairy Animals of Misty Wood series. Which, again, is kind of a like a beginning reader uh, series. And they have a lot of illustrations. They're really cute, too. Um, and... As you know, I'm a sucker for anything with cats. So when I saw this and it was had a cute kitty cat on it and it was all sparkly, I had to get it and, you know, at least give it a try. So I haven't read any of that series yet, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, this book is more of a middle grade book. It's called My Life as a Book. And it's got some illustrations in it. I'm going to go ahead and move the others to the side. But it's not overly, overly illustrated. It's almost kind of like a little bit of a Diary of a Wimpy Kid thing, except for the illustrations are really tiny and they're just in the, like, sidebar. So, I mean, they're not very big, but they go along with the story, you know, whatever's going on in the story. And it looks pretty funny. Um, and it's about a kid who hates books. He hates to read. And so his mom has been trying to force him to start to like reading. And so they sent him to a learning camp where, you know, he's supposed to learn to love learning. And um, I just thought it'd be an interesting read. I personally have always been a reader. I've always loved to read. So it's kind of interesting to read a book about a kid who hates to read. But it looks kind of amusing and funny. So I thought I'd give it a try. And then I got several Magic Treehouse books. And this series, I've read a few so far. Um, I might eventually read the whole series. And then a lot of times I give them away and giveaways or sell them on eBay or whatever or at the used bookstore or whatever. So I got number 12, Polar Bears Past Bedtime. Uh, number 6, Afternoon on the Amazon. And number 29, Christmas in Camelot. And as you can see, these are all in really good shape. They look almost brand new. And that's one thing, like, if I buy books at Goodwill, I try to get ones in really good shape unless there's something I just really want to read. But especially kids' books, I tend to try to get ones in really good shape, especially since I tend to give them away or let my husband use them for his classroom or anything like that. And then this I bought new. This I bought at Barnes & Noble, which if you saw my Barnes & Noble shopping video, you probably knew I got it because I picked it off and said I was probably going to get it. But it is a cute little book. I like the little charmers. I think they're adorable. And um, Hazel is definitely my favorite. She's uh, the, like, kind of magenta haired one with the cat and again you know anything that has cats I'm crazy about so I love her outfit because it's got a cat on the shirt and cats on her feet and it's just really cute and this was a fun little book I'll, I'll keep this because I normally keep picture books and then um, lastly we have like a beginning reader and this actually has two stories on it um, on this side it's please write back and if you flip it over it's may I please have a cookie and these just look like kind of amusing, funny little things. The main character, Alfie, just, he seems really cute and sweet and goofy. So I'm excited to give it a try. It just looks really cute. And I'm a sucker for cute illustrations. 
So, and any kind of animals. I mean, especially cats, but any kind of cute animals I'm a sucker for. So that's like all the little books I got um, recently. And I haven't actually read them yet, but I'm hoping they'll be good. And, well, I did read uh, the Little Charmers book, but the rest I haven't read yet. And um, I've been really into kids' books kind of recently. I go through phases where I'm into kids' books or young adult books or adult books or, you know, I just go through a lot of phases like that. And a lot of times it has to do with kind of um, what I'm interested in at the moment or what I'm writing at the moment because I do write kids' books too. So sometimes when I'm writing kids' books, reading kids' books kind of helps keep me inspired and give me some ideas and kind of make me think in that mindset of kids and things. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I'll try to do a video um, with the toys I got today too soon. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see y'all later. Bye.